Okay, so we're on Aldomori. On the bottom left-hand side, we have a Dolgador played by Old Nosy. Going against on the upper right-hand side, a Lothorian played by Carlipper. So I would say, honestly, in this matchup in particular, if DG happens to get a very aggressive for jail play in, uh, Lorian will struggle a little bit, uh, given the stability of their foundation, which is the Malorans, uh, having less armor and health than other structures and other factions, respectively, because of their defensive mechanic. Uh, but I think Nosy's going to be doing a spider layer. Yeah, he's doing a spider layer star here. So he's not doing a forward jail play. And I'm thinking Carlibur is doing a four farm start. Oh, no way. Is he considering doing a pasture? This is going to be rough if he's doing a pasture with a spider start. Is he doing that? Oh, nope. Okay, he's going garrison. Cool. I was, going, I was going to say, if he was doing pasture start, that would be so rough. Like against the Foul Brood opener? Oh boy. I would love to see people like clump and uh, not clump them um lowering structures though, because like all your Malowans contribute to inflation. Okay, he's opening with pikes. Cool, cool. So he's trying to either creep early or he's expecting a Foul Brood on this map. Nosy's he's got another builder coming in. And we do see a builder over here um, for Nosy. I think he's just trying to scout real quick, too. Yeah, man. I've been saying it for months. Yeah, but, you know, some people, they'll just never change. I just think people don't like how much you have to watch your structures, maybe. I don't know. It's tricky. I think they just want to take away and uh, chill at different points. Okay, he's pre-buying lanterns there. Good call. Yeah. Yeah, quite literally. So pre pet Pre-bought lanterns, a little premature there. And now he's got carnage, okay. Yeah, I mean, he's having to double down on the pikes. He's definitely moving away. He's probably already bought lanterns there. Yep, he bought lanterns. Can't you leave us alone? You can leave. Oh, you can go no further right there. Good play by Carliber, okay. Uh, so he's got the jail back in his base. Thrain's in here too. Okay, ooh, can you mug? Oh, wait, we see a ruinous tower here. Good, but oh, nosy, okay. Nice stuff. Okay, oh, no shot. Ain't no way. Bro, he mugged with the builder? Oh my god, that is hilarious. <laughs> that is so funny. He mugged with the shade. Holy crap. That is so funny. People are creeping uh, war glares with Thrain and Rabble a lot more lately. Treating it like basically goblins in 2.02, which is cool. Ooh, okay. Nosy over here doing the Blighted Trapper support coming up. Sure, sure. For those that don't know, this discounts your spiders, and um, it does it does discount the Nether sister. Just so you know, twenty five percent max discount if you were to spam that. But probably not worth uh, that. Oh wait, though we do see a talent coming in for Carlibur. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, okay. He has to upgrade to level two. Or hunters doing decently right there. Yeah, decent. Good work. Pretty clean. Caliber really taking his time though to just uh, sort of play a little more defensively, maybe and creep. Hmm. Yeah, they'll get the fountain. They'll get the fountain. Does tower increase production time of barracks for Lorien? Yes, it does.
it improves the recruitment time of the units and um, that's basically something a lot of people don't know big old force coming down here Yep, extra tower value, 100%. Okay, so there's only like one pike unit, but this is going to be tricky if he can't get a clear sweep. Ooh, no, 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 he's not going to get a clear sweep. Ooh, he lost a few fell brood there, though. It's not good. Ooh, we have a forward jail. Oh, he should research. Um, hidden volley for sure. Okay. Fight or die. Simple. Thrain's. Oh, Thrain got sniped by the Talon. Damn. That's tough, bro. That is tough. Do we have an archer? No, we don't have an archer in there. Um, I think he is in a tight spot as DG because his early plan of foul brood got countered. And this is like the risk of doing a calf start against Lorian. Uh, especially with a faction like DG. It just, you know, the pikes are good. You've got a lot of defenses for your cavalry to get kind of stuck on. I think that's just sort of like how Nosy's uh, not really sure right now. But, you know, February would try and do that work. He's just trying to play very, very cautiously. Uh, you can go no further. It's been popped here. He needs to continue getting some rabble on the field. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Wait a second. Oh, very cool. Okay, Carlibur playing around with the Sylvan Levy Pike Summon more and more. I love that. Awesome. This is one of my favorite defensive mechanics, but it's just very uh, difficult sometimes to get value because of the cost. You know, with good reason, it's the cost it is. I like that a lot. 725 for Borean, 525 for DG though. Yeah, uh, Carlipper's Lorian gameplay is some of my favorite personally because he's always, you know, going out of his way to try new things. It's not the same old thing. Oh, is he gonna lose this? Okay, Crimple's on the field for Nosy. Got three jails here. Oh my god, yeah, I want Treebeard and Ents to work, man. I want them so bad. But I just, I keep getting them, to be honest, at the wrong moments in my games. Ten points here for DG, six for Lorian. I mean, it's looking like, it's looking pretty rough here for Lorian. Seven seventy five CP, only a hundred cap, but five seventy five with full cap. Mm, pretty rough. Ooh, volley. Interesting, all three tier one choices for Lorian. Not something you really see every day. Oh, Colorbird's going for the Sanctum, very good. Is he going for Nandor or is he going for um, Emeralds, I wonder. Interesting. Okay, Nosy's trying to keep Pike Sword and uh, Archer prod up with Felbrood. He still got this tower over here, and now he's putting down the uh, Dreadful Presence upgrade for the 50% armor bonus. Cool, cool. Oh, God, I'd love the uh, 2D art for that. It's so clean. Into the fray. Quick. 
Oh, Caliber doing another town on the front. Interesting placement, though, to be honest. I probably would have tried to position it, just let these two get hit. Unless he's going to make, like, a forward base, like, right here. I mean, he's sort of got something going. And we don't see a spire for Old Nosy yet. Ooh, but Lorien pulls out their first hero now. It's Rumel. Uh, but it did take a hot minute for the first hero to come out for Lorien, so that's, it, that's very different. Crimple level 2. Yeah, Lorien kind of uh, having to pull back from multiple sides. Ooh, we got the Pike Summon? Love that. I love the use of the Pike Summon, dude. Let's see. 750. Ooh, Crimple Summon? Yikes. Let's see. What is Lorien's economy looking like? Oh, he's going for Amroth and Darien. Okay, nice. This is going to be... It should be fine. Skirt, trample on the edges. Sure, sure. Okay. Okay, now knows he's got the spire. Very nice. I think that's the that's the first battalion of Amroth, yeah. But he's definitely going for a second now, which is good. I like that. But where is Lauren? Lauren is chilling at 775. Oh, they just garrisoned the tower. Is he gonna buy the hidden volley? Very nice. Crimple gone? What is the in you know on this map? Uh, Surf, Spearman, and Kinlai. No, nah, Crimple's not gone. Crimple's still here. Oh yeah, Nosy's using the Surf Spearman too. I love the Surf Spearman's active that they uh, replenish at level 3. It's very cool. The Knights of Amroth and Girion are yours to command. Oh, yeah. Level 2, Amroth, 10. So, Lauren's at tier 2 now. Okay, they have all their options. I wonder if he's going to go for the Hjorn. Uh, it's going to be the Hjorn or Sylvan Allies, I'm thinking. Ooh, okay, Lantern's done. Nice, nice. No tier two pick. Ooh, crimple though. Ooh. Oh, but now, uh, nah, knows he's going to be feeding. Risen Dead gives so much experience. Ooh, but Calibre is chilling at 15 points in the bank here. Hold up, 850 CP. 10, 10 uh, pounds in the bank, 10 points. Ooh, yeah, seven allies. Okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. Awesome, awesome. Oh, okay, Nosy pulled out Cargast. Uh, very low on the unit side of it all, though. Hmm, okay. Love the Amroth use. Lots of good Lorien plays happening right now. Fight or die, simple. Okay, Nosy lost that forward base sort of over here, but like the tower is still here. Uh, and I think Culliver is leaning on the Eagles here if he's going with Sylvan allies. Uh, maybe he's going Ayer Rendil though? He could just be going Ayer Rendil. Ah, uh, nice to see Haldir. Okay, okay. Blade and shield, Our spears will defend the golden wood. I like this. Interesting. It looks like Nosy's just kind of putting down mills now uh, for CP at this point. 
Like, there's no way this is uh, intentional. Ooh, Rimmel level five. Come on, you mangy scum. Time to fight. Okay, so what is Nosy going to do here? Emroth. Kind of holding back. Do we have a garrison coming up to level 3? This, oh, yep, he's going for level 3 garrison. But does he have a storehouse anywhere? Not that I see. Sylvan sentries, here at your order. Okay, but Car... Okay, Thrain the Broken, level 6. Car gas, level 1 still. Interesting. And what do we have over here? Just a harass group. It's like Sim City here in the center. <laughs> Ooh, wait a second. He's going for level three uh, fountain of corruption. I would honestly like to see uh, Ravagers, to be honest. 15 points here for Lorien. 950 CP to DG's 13 and 900. Hmm, I wonder what he'll. Oh, he's going for the Eagles. Oh, God. Maybe, oh, maybe Nosy's expecting this because uh, Orc Hunters have that level 2 flyer ability, 200% damage. Yeah, okay, he must be preparing for this. Ooh, very nice. Okay, I like this decision making right now. I definitely think Nosy's preparing for a flyer moment. <laughs> And you're just going to hear the one of the best uh, SFXs you could even think of in this game. Just to bring it down. But Got definitely, I, I feel like Carlipper is saving the Eagles for a very precise moment here. Ooh, March ones, though. Oh, Car okay, we have Nandor on the field too here for Lauren. Oh. Okay, Carlibur is definitely clearing the way uh, for the Eagles. Yep, he's clearing the way. He knows what those flyers, he knows. He just knows what the Orc Hunters do. Okay. Very tight. Ah, uh, but they don't have the active. Oh, that's not good. Oh boy. Good, good timing on um. Caliber's part there to kind of hold out. Ah, uh, but he oh he's gotten banners now, he's getting banners now. Activate, activate. Yes, there you go, break it down. Break it down. Look at that. Is Cargas oh Cargas died? Damn. I mean look at the damage though that the Eagles are doing here. Damn. Crazy. Imagine if he didn't have darkness, that would not uh have gone in his favor. Wow, look at this. Good Amroth value. Good Sylvan Levy value. Lots of good Lorien plays here. Pretty different DG playbook, I would say, sort of. Different uh, ideas rolling around. Ooh, I got Rendil, though. That, I'm sorry, I take that back. This is my favorite SFX in the game. Literally the music that plays with the IRN deal. It is so beautiful. Fantastic Nandor value though. Level 3. What's the spell book though? Sylvan allies almost bad. Ooh, Haldir's level six. Okay, Galadriel's here too. She's joining the party. Ooh, no way he's using Entwise for the trample. Sylvan allies. Okay, okay. Very nice stuff. I mean, Haldir's structure damage is not that impressive. Like, I get it's a level 3 mil, but that's not impressive. 
Ooh, right on top of the risen dead though. Ooh. Very nice. All right. Give us a target. Very cool stuff. Lauren chilling with 17 points. DG at 850. 12 points. Oh, he's gone for Cabal. Cargas is in trouble? Oh, no. Oh, he knocked over Galadriel. Aunt Wife trying to kick Caladir. <laughs> I mean, knows he's definitely in trouble over here. Oh man, such a far whack. Okay, Camel trying to save the day slowly but surely. Ooh, Rumo's in trouble. Rumo's in trouble. Ooh, Caliber is overextended. Dude, this is bad. Oh my god, Camel could just snipe uh, the Lorian heroes right now. There's no pikes coming for days. Oh, Nosy, are you going to commit? Oh. This is the question. Will you commit? Oh boy. No pikes for days. You can chase the heroes. No. Oh, Carlibur is going for the ants. Okay. Oh, dude, you could commit right now. Level three? Level two Spire coming in? Okay, okay. Oh boy. Oh goodness. Oh, he's gonna feed card gas a little bit. Sure, sure. Back away now. Oh, I'm about to get slaughtered by Camel. Undead monstrosity though? <laughs> and Moot's still building, it's almost done. Yep, the Nandor. The March Wardens will heed their Lord's call. Look at that. Shields, point your what does his nosy think about doing? He's just got this like war. small harass group moving around. Oh, Camus chilling up here. Okay. <gasps> oh no. Oh, does he have? No, he doesn't have. You can go no further. Oh my God. Ooh. Good, good use of Sylvan Levy. That's one of my favorite things, man. And Nandor on their swords. Yeah, he needs to switch the axes for the uh, building dam. Ooh, Galadriel hit by <gasps> cast down its walls. Oh my God, what a cool game, bro. What a cool game. Oh, damn. Galadriel's terror. Okay. Ooh. Oh, no way. Camel gank. Oh, very cool game. Very cool. Ooh, great Lorian gameplay. Honestly, fantastic Lorian gameplay. Let's see, what's the fork got left? Eh, a little more than half. Not sure what's going on here. Oh, he's got the heavy armor. He's got the blight upgrade on the fort. That's difficult to push once that's happening. Level five Nandor though. They're one level away from upgrade granting. <gasps> Sweet. Oh, you never see that. Very nice. Let's see. Does he have? Where's the ant mode? He's getting tree beard. He's getting one end. Yeah, he's got to get the Nandor out of here, though. That'd be a shame if he lost these boys. Oh, he's definitely losing them. He's so losing these Nandor. Yikes, he lost a level five Nandor. That's so unfortunate. Ayarendil. Oh, damn, dude. That's tough. 
Losing level 5 Nandor, it's not fun. Stalkers, reporting for duty. DG though hanging in there. The necromancer's on the field. Okay. The Nandor Damn. Nandor back. Okay. Uh, Carlibur needs the mirror of Galadriel so bad after that. That's what he needs right now. Like he needs he needs that unit prod right now. Our shields will guard the golden wood. Gray shields, point your spears and prepare for war. I want to see more arch wardens in melee, man. That's so sad that he lost the level five Nandor, though. Ugh. Crazy unit. The Knights of Amroth Amdirion are yours to command. More Amroth hitting the field, very nice. Uh, only one of these is level three though. I hear Rendil, Eagles, yeah, I think Carlibur is waiting to uh kinda of drop a nuke over here. Yeah, Lauren's going in slowly but surely to uh, push down the final blow. Oh boy. Tree beard and the ants, brother, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Tree beard and the ants. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's definitely. Okay, no, there's no way he's not going to use IR and deal. And, uh, the Eagles to kill the Necromancer. No way he won't. He's going to do that, 100%. Our shields will guard Nandor coming war. back. Yep, here we go. Eagles coming on in. Oh god. Look at that. Nasty. Oh, I wonder if uh I don't know, it's tricky. I mean he's going to lose the Nakamatsu. I have no doubt he lost the Nakamatsu there. But I think uh Oh man. Sentinels of Karen and Rock will protect this land. Oh, Camel, what love is Camel? Ooh, black fell ward. Okay, bring it down over here with the uh, orc hunters. Very nice, countering the eagles where they can. Oh, uh, where's Car? Ooh, yikes! Crimple's gone. Oh God. Okay, okay. Galadriel's here. Oh boy. Nosy calls GG. Okay. All right. Okay, what a game. Great game there. Let me uh, update the score real quick. Oh boy. You know, unfortunately, I, <laughs> I will have to leave the house like rather soon. So I can't like commit to a final game here.
Okay, yeah, it's getting pretty late for uh, both of us here, but we're going to pick this back up another day. But a nice 2-2 two -two for those best of five. It's a little tiebreaker right now, you know? But it is what it is at the moment. I got a dip, and I can't really commit to a final game at my desk. 